Hello there and welcome to Beauty Busters, pew, 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 where we test out internet beauty hacks to see if they're a poop, a whoop, or a maybe baby. Meaning they might work for some people and they might not work for other people. Today, we are testing out bubble wrap curls. Hmm. I got my mighty bubble wrap right here. Oh, it's the bubble wrap. Got my bubble wrap here with me. Bubble wrap, bubble, bubble, bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble, 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 bubble wrap. Thumbs up if you find these to be so compulsively addicting to pop. You just can't stop. I saw this Pinterest beauty hack and I was like, okay, this looks a little strange, kind of weird. I shall test it out. Essentially what it is, it's just bubble wrap. You remember this good old stuff from the good old days? Okay, don't do that. I am sensing that this is going to be a whoop. I feel it, I feel like it's gonna work. So let's see if it works. Essentially what we're gonna do is just cut the bubble wrap. Oh, it doesn't pop when you cut it. Strange. Oh, it's hard to cut bubble wrap. We went from thick to thin. Okay. So essentially what you're supposed to do is basically roll up the bubble wrap. I just want to squish it. It's so tempting, you guys. It's all tempting. It's stressful. I'm not gonna lie. And you decide if you want your curl to be bigger, then make sure you, you know, you make it the amount, the size that you want it. I want my curl to be about that, about that size. I'm just gonna snip it. And then I'm just gonna take some good old scotch tape and then just put that tape onto that and then you should have a little something like this. Make sure you don't pop it. <laughs> a lot easier if you just roll one out like this and then add the tape and then cut it into like three parts and then it'll just make the best use out of your time. So I got all of my curls ready. All right, so essentially what you're gonna do now is basically dampen up your hair, make it nice and wet and then we're gonna put these things on. All right, so now that our hair is nice and damp, what we're gonna do is take the little thing we just created and basically just section it off as you normally would. So I'm just gonna take, ooh, I'm gonna take about that much. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem sleeping with this just because it doesn't seem like it's gonna be uncomfortable. When I slept with the straws, it was so uncomfortable. Then you're just gonna tie it off. Yeah, just like that. Interesting. And basically just do the same thing with the rest of your hair. And then just take the little elastic and wherever the end of the hair is, kind of put it there. For some reason, this feels relaxing to me. I can't quite put a grip on why. All right, guys, so once you look like a mad woman, exhibit A, hello, basically sleep on it overnight. So I'll basically check back in on it with you guys tomorrow. So let's see how it works. All right, you guys, so fast forward to today. I slept on these, um, I would say comfort wise, it's maybe like a six, a uh, five. It's not too comfortable, but it's not too bad. Let's see if it worked. Hmm. Oh my God. Okay, this took, oh my God, that took out so much hair. All right, legit you guys, I was just balded. That's a lot of hair. So, as you can see, the little scrunchies that I use pretty much, oh my god, oh. Overall, my hair is soft, but, and the curls, I mean, they're there. They're not super beautiful curls. I would say the scrunchies that I used was kind of the, uh, kind of a really bad idea. These scrunchies just, look how much hair they take off. Like, literally, that's terrible. I mean, in certain areas, like here, you can see there's a little bit of, I don't know, it doesn't look wavy. It just looks like part of these little poppy things. I would give this like a six because, I mean, it did work. Um, am I like super in love with the, the waves? Mm, kind of iffy about them. I do like how they're big and bouncy. So what I would recommend is even going a little bit bigger than this size, having it be wider. So that way your curls can be something like this, like nice and just bouncy. Other than that, I could pretty much get these curls, but my curling wand, I don't have one as big as this. So that would kind of be my suggestion. Let me know what you guys think below in the comments. Let me know if you would try this out with your girlfriends at a fun sleepover or just something like that. Make sure you just use better elastics that don't pull your hair so that you don't have the same issue. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and follow me on my social media because I like to share my life with you guys and I love getting to know you guys a little bit more. Have an amazing day and that's it. Bye.